There's no way that bullet box is under $500. What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. It's Hamby doing a review on a high-end device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. And honestly, my own personal collection. Now we know at this point that one of my favorite things to do are RTAs. Whether it is a mouth to lung, a direct lung, or an open lung, I'm all for it. Most of the time, I prefer more of that direct lung. Now, if you don't know what I'm referencing in regards to the three different versions, let me explain. Mouth to lung is obviously just that, where you're gonna take a hit, it's gonna be very restrictive, you kind of fill up the mouth, then you take the hit from your mouth to your lung. Direct lung is more of an open mouth to lung, but you can get away with using a mouth to lung depending on the configuration of the airflow. Then you have an open lung. Open lung is what everybody else knows. Let's just think about the OBS engine, uh, the nano engine, the uh, the engine two. I don't know why I'm referencing only OBS, but intake RTA, serpent elevate RTA. A lot of these RTAs you see from China are more of an open lung. I don't know what this falls under. Now I've only opened this up just to quickly glance at it to see what was going on inside of the box. Have not used it at all, just like any other product. I'm just gonna throw a couple builds in it, let you know my final thoughts. This comes from the company called Atmazu. Now this company has made a lot of products. I actually didn't buy this from the States. I saw this on a website that I normally purchase from, but I was like, oh, this is a nice RTA. I didn't know that anybody in the States was gonna have it the next day, literally. I bought this from, I think the company that makes it, yes. And then they actually emailed me and said, hey Jay, what's going on? We're gonna refund. I, I didn't check on the refund. Absolutely, very nice. So June 13th is when I bought this. June 14th is when I was refunded. Big, huge shout out to this company. This company also made the vape shell. That was the billet box accessory. And fun fact for you is a lot of these companies now are bringing back this whole billet box mindset. Now, before you use the argument and saying that some people can't afford billet boxes, they're only like two beans. Hold on, don't get excited, don't get riled up. If you were to buy a pod-based system for $40 and buy five of those, which most people do, you could have bought a billet box and then you could buy different accessories. I know that has nothing to do with this, but I figure if I'm gonna mention billet box, there's gonna be the guy in the comments. There's no way that billet box is under $500. You could even find used billet boxes for like a buck 25 all day long. Da, 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 da. Why does it say Africa? Oh, Attica. I thought this is, I thought this said it was made in Africa. What? We... Growing spears and making RDAs. You ever seen that video where those three guys steal the wildebeest from the pack of lions? What? Greek company always love everything from Greece with the exception of that golden Greek jammy. That's where the hashtag I am high end comes from. Now, if you haven't seen that video, I'm just gonna post that up there. That's not this company. That's a company that a lot of people from Greece don't like that company. However, he has his followers and I'm not gonna get too far into that. So without further ado, let me bring this down. Show everything inside of the package. Put a build in it. Tripod, RTA, let's. Flip it. So on the front of the box has this lovely little sticker, Atmazoo by Atmazone. I'm thinking Atmazoo is the name of the company and Atmazone is kind of like the corporation, if you will. This warning right here, much not needed. However, I think a lot of companies are doing that to cover their tracks in regards to some companies or countries saying, hey, listen, it's gotta have a warning on it. On the side, it's gonna have the quick response and then I'm assuming that's the serial number, stainless steel M. Now there's two different stainless steel versions. There's a matte in an ice. I thought I purchased the ice because that's more shinier and more looks like a regular stainless steel than the other one. Doesn't have as much as luster. And then that is the production date, 527-2019. So as you see, it is a very, very brand new device. Lots of Greek writing here. Mike Vapes, where you at? Y'all close your mouth, y'all the bubble. Okay. On the back side of the box, go ahead and give that a freeze frame for you. Okay, so everything that's included, your RTA, the set of spares, user guide, and a warranty card. That's nice, a little warranty and authenticity card. Very, very sexy. And then the sticker on the side of the box versus the sticker that's on the inside is basically the same exact thing. A nice real notary there, or 
embossedness going on. That is really sexy. Little user manual for the RTA itself. Holy sugar nipple. Oh my goodness, there is a lot of parts of this. All right, so we have the RTA, we'll go over that shortly, and then lots of different little airflow inserts. How convenient. So not only are they covering the basis of this being, I'm assuming, a direct lung configuration, there's a lots of different mouth to lung. I don't really wanna go over all of these and use every single one just because, well, I know for a fact I'm not going to enjoy any of them, but I will show you how they are. Is that a stamp on it? Oh my God. So that's a 1.8. Apparently on the top of each of these, wow, check that out. 1.0, 1.2, 1 1.5. And then is this a 1.8? Wow. Two extra post screws and a little peripheral pouch. This reminds me of my childhood. Huh. How about that? And then there is an extra sticker, Atmazoo by Atmazone. How badass is that? So um, when I did the 502, I wanted to give dimensions for everything, just in case if you do lose a certain O-ring or a screw or a gasket, it gives you the size of everything. And that's exactly what they did here. They actually went a little bit further though, and I can definitely appreciate that. They show you the size comparison of each one. So let's just say you've lost one or you broke it, you kind of put it together and then you can match that up instead of having to buy other o-rings you also have to keep in mind that o-rings are like a penny a piece so <laughs> it's not like it's gonna cost you forty dollars to get all these o-rings what i don't understand though is he's got black o-rings here and then silicone all here the problem is with silicone is they do last longer than rubber i will not deny that they don't dry out as quick as rubber does However, they stain much quicker, if at all, than rubber does. So your drip tip on the top is in fact threaded. Unscrew that off. You better shut your face. This could be cleaned a little bit better on the top, but you could see just me rubbing it, just wiping it off. Always whenever you get a brand new device, try to throw it in the cleaner for a little bit or just use some dish soap and water, but it looks like this guy actually comes out. The way that you take this apart to fill up this RTA is quite unique. You could, in fact, unscrew this whole thing. I don't recommend that. Basically, there's an arrow here and then there's a dot. So as you spin this, that kind of unlocks it. And then you pull this up. There it is. Fill it up right there on the top. Very, very unique fill port style. Wow, this is extremely intricate. And then there is some of your machining on the top. Really nice latches up here. Airflow adjustment on the bottom does spin pretty freely. It's a little bit rough. It is brand new and non-lubed up. So let's just take this whole thing apart. You know, I was gonna be a little pissed off because I thought that this was gonna be proprietary just with this little adapter, but apparently it's only proprietary if you leave that adapter in. Essentially what happens is that adapter sits in there like so, and then that allows you to thread Oh, I think I just put that in wrong. I'm not gonna use it, but this little adapter sits in here like so, and then you just kind of push that out, and that allows you to use a 510. Really can appreciate the shit out of that. Okay, uh, wow, check this out. So you got your little logo right here, and you have a little arrow. So you're saying, well, what, what does that got to do with anything? There's your juice flow control, juice flow control. You wanna take this apart to build on it, Let's talk about intricacy for a second. We're going to spin this and spin this, right? Eventually, we're going to come across another little arrow right there. Now, when you line those two up and you pull this, look at that. Would you? Uh, there's some juice in there. Okay. <sighs> uh, I can tell you that the juice is in there is VG. Not a fan of that at all. You know how I feel. It's not dirty, but it is wet. And I feel like we're at a point now where we shouldn't be... I don't know if they just put VG on the O-ring and then it gets all on the inside of the RTA. So many companies do this, but then you see so many companies not do this and then you don't have a problem. Maybe they're doing it to remove the risk or the possibility of it possibly getting too dry. The machining of that barrel is super sexy. I know it's a little hard to tell because it's all dirty, but 
Yeah, I don't see any kind of scratches. I'm gonna have to clean this up. Let me try to get this little adjustment thing out here. This goes in here, right? So that's your little airflow adjustment down there. You're gonna push that in. Right now we're gonna leave that wide open, which is very, very, very open. I don't know why the top section of that has knurling on it. Take a look at this picture right here. Chamber and chimney reducer. So that little guy right there, which appears to be threaded, I feel like that's attached to that. Yo, the amount of intricacy that is, oh my God. All right, we're just gonna try to take that apart. Here we go. There it is, see? And let's see if anything falls out from it. It's like a hex bolt. Apparently there's supposed to be another reducer in there. You be oh my God, yo, this thing has got all types of gifts. We're gonna use this thing wide open, absolutely. Okay, this is one of these things that you don't wanna lose any of the packaging. Now it doesn't come with any other adapters aside from this for the inside of the barrel. So if you wanna reduce it, you use this guy. Then you wanna reduce it more, you use that drip tip that it comes with. Then you wanna reduce it more, you put little plugs in here that reduce it that much more. Now let's take a look at the machining of the deck. There's the little arrow that matches up with the top section here. So when you go to put this back on, it's probably gonna be very imperative for you to line those up as best as you can and then that will snap in and then it locks. To adjust this, you're going to spin this right here, sort of how the GT4 works. You got this secondary ring that allows you to adjust the juice flow control. I don't know how hard that's going to be once this is all put together and on. It shouldn't be that difficult. I'm more worried about the capacity of this. The guy that makes this is Greek, right? But actually in English, it tells you what each one of the reducers do. The max height you could use, the inner diameter, the outer diameter, the weight. Holy shit. I've went through this whole manual and I don't see anything in regards to the actual juice flow control anywhere. They basically tell you about the reducer, you know, some of the parts, some of the warnings, and then more diagrams here, but they don't actually mention the juice flow control, which is quite awkward, but it clearly has it. Very, very nice Phillips screws, and you can see that they do have the walls here. A lot of the times you'll see this type of technology on high-end RTAs, and what that does is you wrap around and then you screw it down. Well, they kind of updated the technology to where you put the leg in and then you tighten it down. You don't have to worry about it wrapping around a screw. They even went as far as setting up rivets or divots or dimples, if you will, so you can lay your jig in there and put the coil directly in the center. I wouldn't recommend a very juicy build in this, but that's not saying that I can't put the type of build in this that I would in something like the Jenna or the GT3. I'm gonna have to clean this up a little bit prior to utilizing it because I do feel it's a little too wet for my own liking. 28 gauge dual with 38 on the outside. Let's do it.
Okay, so when I first saw this, I said, okay, that's got to be really, really tall. And then I compared it to the GT3. And the GT3 is actually taller, but I think because the GT3 has got so much acrylic, this is obviously a student tuner's cap, but this is 23, this is 22. This also holds like 3.5, this old soup. But we're not really here for that. So anyway, this is the Tripod RTA by Atmosu. Let's bring it on the top. Tripod RTA sitting on top of the Haze Mod Ice. Now, keep in mind that the gap is because it's a prototype, but we're not here for that, we're here for this. You will see on the top up here that it looks like someone is blowing bubbles on the inside of this RTA. That's because I'm vaping it. All right, um, wow. Oh, 0.96 at 35 watts. Here we go. I don't know if it's okay. Oh, I don't know if this is me. Yeah, if there's something special going on here or if it's the machining of the tank because what's really awkward is that same juice that's in that. When I use that in this, this doesn't hit nearly as hard as what that does. Hello. I don't know what it is with this tank, but I'm gonna tell you this right now. The way that this tank hits has to do with the airflow because it's very, very open lung. I was gonna say that this is direct lung, but it's not. I mean, you can see the vapor production. Check it out, it's straight out here. Yeah. If I was to use the other insert that's inside the chimney by default, not the drip tip, I feel like this would be that direct lung. I would put this in the same amount of airflow as what the GT3 has. So I guess you can consider a direct lung. I don't know if I would say it's as much as something like the intake. But when I hit this with the same juice that's in the GT3, literally uh, the same exact power. Three watt difference. I sound like I'm crazy, like I, I've never done a review before. This actually hits harder. It has to be the airflow because the inlets are very, very small, horizontal, thin, but it's a lot of airflow. Two mil option. So using it the way that I'm using it right now is not gonna be optimal at all. You're going to be filling this thing up a lot. However, because the way that you fill this, not a big deal. Also, if you want to build on this, not a big deal as well. I did find one flaw in this. One. That is all. You ready for this? Here. Apparently my phone is ready. The one problem I have with this, and this is reaching. Let's just say I want to fill this up. I have to grab the glass. Then I turn the top. You have to be careful because the top is going to be more restrictive than the midsection, which is not good. Because what's going to happen is, well, I mean, obviously you have eyeballs so you can see, but if, well, if you, uh, I don't know what to say if you're visually impaired, this is going to be a nightmare for you. Makes me wonder, uh, well, no, I, I do know people that do watch me that are visually impaired, well, not watch and no insult at all, but uh, that, that listen to me. So I guess there are people that do RTAs, but Man, I am, and I'm not trying to be funny. I am super instru instrumented because I'm an instrument that needs to be strummed. Super interested into how they actually do RTAs. Immensely, like I would actually pay to see that. What happens is, is because of the top, which needs to be looser than what the channel or the chimney is, because the chimney, you're not gonna wanna twist that about all the time. While it's cool that you can spin this and adjust the juice flow control on the fly without having to finger bang the shit to turn it about, you can just kind of twist the barrel and it, it changes. You see how that spins? And the bottom is not spinning, you see? So what that does is allow you to adjust that juice flow control or if you need to rebuild it, you line it up and pop it off. Super badass, like really cool. 
but there has to be a lock. There has to be some type of stopper, like a little metal nipple that sticks up. So if you turn it all the way to the left, like you're gonna try to fill this up and you're kind of locking the barrel in place, it wouldn't be that open. Ooh, that'd, that'd be a tough one to fix, but there has to be a way to lock that all the way to the left to lock it all the way to the right. So it doesn't keep spinning as you try to undo the top to fill it up. That's the only flaw that I have. Want mouth to lung? They give you that option. I don't even need to test it. They have four different inserts that go into the deck. They also have another insert that goes into the chimney. They also have a proprietary drip tip if you choose, or you could use your own 510 like I'm doing. The 510 that you're gonna have to use, yo, listen, the best fucking RTA that I've ever reviewed on top of the GT3, no doubt about it. 22 millimeter, I would've preferred a 23. It is, was it, it is a, Words are difficult today. It is what it is. You can see the excitement that I have for this RTA. I legitimately love this RTA. If I had to rate this RTA on a zero to 10, I'm gonna give it a 9.9, .9. that close to a 10. I can't remember the last RTA, RDA mod that I've given that high. That's even higher than I've rated my own mod, which clearly, I use. It's not going to fall apart. You have to, there's so much involved with this. Lining up the, the juice flow to, to unlock it. You, you have to look. So, so you look to see, okay, that's good. Pop it off, build it. A lot of times you have to unscrew shit and then you build it. Like the GT3, I fucking love without a doubt. Without a doubt, I can tell you after all these years using it, 9.5. There's not much that I would change, but Keep in mind that my GT3, by default, is a better tank where it's at right now, but that's because it has additional things. That's not a stock GT3. We're talking about stock, bare bones. Um, so bare bones, man, I, the only reason why it's not a 10, capacity and the stopper. Want mouth to lung? Got it. Direct lung? Got it. Open lung? Got it. Adjustments? Got it. Machined? Got it. VG, eh, I can clean it up. I'm gonna let that one slide because of how fucking intricate this is. If you're able to pick up this RTA, you've never built before, good starter. Uh, I don't I don't know about the price point. I think the price point's a little high. I think it is. Uh, let me look. I think, it's a, I think it's a little bit of a juicy price point. That may deter most people. Not so much, 140 bucks, that's not terrible. Like, the GT3 is the same damn price. GT4, same price. GT4 does have more airflow, but it doesn't hit the same, like in the throat. I need you to be 100% when you hit, okay, so take the GT3. Okay. Okay, you, I know how much you love the GT3. Take the, I'm not even gonna look at her, okay? Take the GT3, vape this. Okay, I want you to read the resistances to the people and vape the two and then tell me which one hits harder, which one's got better flavor, and what's your opinion of a better tank, be honest. Okay. I, I know she's gonna pick the GT3, but go ahead, vape it. Uh, 0.94 on, on the GT3, and then 0.96 on the tripod. Go for it. That's lovely. What is that right now? Which one you're vaping on? GT3 the or tripod. tripod? Okay. It's a little bit tighter, but it hits hard. Like, um, it's warmer, even though they're at, like, the same thing. Okay. Okay. Now try the GT3. They're both brand new builds. You guys have to keep that in mind. It's so different. Oh, my I know gosh. you're going to prefer the GT3. I don't. You don't? No. This one has way better flavor. The tripod. Yes, but I love my GT3. I know you do. And I do, <laughs> but but keep in mind that our GT3s are steam tuners, right? GT3 deck, steam tuner stop. Which, which one gives you more flavor? The tripod. Which one gives you a harder hit in like the throat and chest region? The tripod does. But the GT3 you would prefer out of the two? Yes. Because? The tripod kind of looks like it's a sub-ohm tank. 
with its design. Okay, okay, I can dig it. I, I understand that. There's a yeah. There's one that I'm thinking of now that you said that. Um, Asmodus, I think, made it, or it's called the Flex or Flux, Flux sub ohm tank or Flux or Flex. I know what you're talking about. Okay, so it looks more like like you're not making your own coils. Okay, like that you're using the sub. -ohm oh, what coils. about as far as functionality is concerned? Oh, I love the way that it tastes. The tripod. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Yep, you could give those back. <laughs> okay. See you later. All right. I she she got me. Got put my hands up. You got me. This does remind me of I think it's the Flux or the Flex. I I see that. So they could have made it a little bit less stainless steel than what this is. But the crazy part is I'm trying to oh, let me open this up all the way. Flux? Was that close? You were so good. Flux tank. There it is. There it is. Flux tank. Damn. Nailed it. I'm trying to tell you I remember shit like that. Okay. Uh, hmm. So GT3 stock, tripod stock, tripod all the way. Tripod RTA versus steam tuners Typhoon GT3. The GT3. But that's not stock. You have to understand that. 9.9 .9 is what I'm sticking with. Highest rated RTA that I've ever done, without a doubt, is this. So if you're looking at picking up a GT3 and you can't find one, this is a great alternative. Keep in mind, GT3 is 23 millimeters. This is 22. The stock GT3 is much, much, much taller. Very, very heavy. Looks nothing like this. They're very, very different. But the tripod RTA is at Mizzou's best RTA ever. Matter of fact, it's probably the best RTA ever made in all of Europe. I know that's a far stretch, but guys, listen to me. I have it all. I literally dwarf Rose, that raccoon shit, GT4, small, GT3, other small, nano tank. Like, I, I could, what was this? This is called the, uh, what the fuck? The BYK2, the, the DLC GT4, the, that's the stock GT, GT4, that's how big it is, the DLC. The KFUN V5 squared. Guys, you have to understand, I have, what is this one? This is the, uh, this is the something, the, 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 uh, okay. It's so hard at this point to tell you anything is better than this bone stock. So, so, so very much difficult. Open lung, you're gonna drain juice. It's only two mils. That's all I got for a downfall, man. It makes me a little emotional. Like, I don't know why. I think it's really dusty in here and there's a lot of pollen and I became allergic overnight. I have no words. A, a 9.9. .9. If you have a GT3 with the acrylic or the polycarbonate, yes. If you can't get this exact setup, this is it, man. This is by far the best RTA ever fucking made. Period. I've kept it real. Have you? Jesus.